Hello, uh, welcome to this video. I'm going to teach you how to configure Dolphin uh, to host it in Parsec. Um, I'm doing this video because I have seen many people trying to host Dolphin in Parsec and they are having trouble with controllers. So what I'm going to do is uh, teach you how I solve that problem. Okay, so the problem normally that I see uh, happens with Dolphin is uh, the mapping. Normally, you would go uh, to controllers and you will, will go to configuration. You select your controller, you go to configure, and well, you might have it like this you just connect your controller. And in my case, it's an Xbox uh, controller. You just select it and just click the buttons and map uh, each one of them. You just click it here and click it. You just click here and then you click it in your controller. And the same with all uh, all the things. Now the problem that happens to many is that when they go to another controller, uh, they don't have any other device to activate it. They don't have any more devices to uh, map. And this could be a problem uh, since uh, Dolphin needs you to connect the controller you want to map. But there's a way to solve this uh, using Parsec itself. Um, since Parsec emulates uh, a controller connected to your computer, we can select those uh, we can select those controllers, leave them as default, and it will work every time. So first, what you're going to do is you go to configuration, you are going to select your gamepad, you're going to map it, the buttons that you like, uh, the configuration you prefer or that you are going to have and people will have. So everything is mapped, okay? What you're going to do now is you're going to name a profile. Uh, you're going to name it uh, control, for example. And you're going to save it like that. Then you're going to go to port two, select standard controller and configure and you select the controller profile. You load and then you close. And again, you do the same. You select, you load. Now, you're going to see that, for example, in each one, uh, the device selected is our own gamepad. This means that people who connect won't be able to use their own pads. So. Uh, but this is okay. We're going to solve this. So what we're going to do is that we are going to open, uh, we're going to leave it like this with the controllers open. And we're going to select any game. In my case, I'm going to select uh, Melee. And then you go to, uh, and you go to, yeah. now if you see, this is what happens when you uh, select it that way. And if I were to select another uh, device, uh, like the, like for example here the the keyboard and mouse, they won't work. So what we need is to emulate another con uh, more controllers. So we're going to go to Parsec. We will open it, and we're going to go to Arcade, and we're going to host a Dolphin for three people. Okay, we change to Dolphin, and we're going to see that people will be connecting here. They join. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to port two. We are going to click all that to see if it's necessary, and we go to configure. Now we can see that they are here. So we select that and we close. We, uh, we select always connected and close. The same with the third one. We select the new device that is simulated, always connected, and close. And we go third, always connected, and close. And now you see that they can move it. See? Now it's working. Now we're going to stop hosting and stop emulation. Now, you don't have to do this process every time. You only need to do it once, since if you check, now we will have. Uh, the disconnect we will have the option of disconnected gamepad, but don't move it. If you change it, you will lose it and you have to configure it again. But this is the way now you can see that uh, everyone has their own controller, 
everything is mapped and it's all correct. Uh, remember to always leave your controllers connected. That is important. So Parsec does not become crazy when uh, people starts to connect and disconnect again. And again, that could be problematic. So with that, uh, you can solve it. Now, in the case of uh, a Wii uh, game, like Roll, for example, you will need to go to the configuration of the remote. We're going to do something similar. What we're going to do is we go to configuration remote, and we're going to select the extension of non classic controller. No non shock, no guitar, classic controller. And then we're going to go to extension, and we're going to map it here again. We're going to map our controller here. And again, same process. You name the profile, and in this case, I have a classic controller. And then you go and you emulate. You first disconnect the disconnect the you first disconnect the GameCube controllers. And then you go again, you emulate roll. Then you go to Parsec, host it. And you do the same thing. You wait for people to connect. They have connected. Now we go to configuration and we select their gamepad. And we load the profile as a controller and we select their gamepad. The same with the third one. We select, we load it, we load the classic controller, then select gamepad two and close it again with the fourth. We load it, select the third one and close. So that's the way to do it. Uh, I, I think you will find this very helpful to configure your hosting of uh, Dolphin. Maybe there's some more, there's a more easy way to do it, uh, but I don't know. It. And I think this can help. I will show you another trick, uh, in the case for Millie uh, or any other. Uh, what happens is that sometimes, what happens is that sometimes people just Connecting Parsec and they disconnect later. And what happens is that you have a you need uh, this person to connect to press and start in their controller and they are disconnected. Uh, you need to wait for someone to connect and that stuff. So, what can help is you go again with Alt Tab or just going switching the screen. You go to port two and you select not and it will click itself. And now, and now you select the standard controller again and you see that it connects itself. So I hope you understand the process and it becomes easier for you to host uh, Dolphin. You can do it also with uh, Double Dash, uh, Mario Kart Wii or any other multiplayer game. Uh, the same uh, procedure works for you. Um, so yeah. That's uh, my two cents, and I hope it helps you.